Hey DP, every year a group of DPNU students travels to a national competition known as STN where we compete in numerous broadcast and film related competitions. One of these competitions is called Sweet 16 where we have 16 hours to create a 16 minute or less news broadcast centraled around a theme, uh, a theme word. In preparation for this, yesterday we spent five hours making a five minute news broadcast centered around the word success. What you're going to see right now is our finished product. On this edition of DP News, we'll go in-depth on the stories of Santa Barbara musicians and a local business and how they've reached success through the Santa Barbara community. Hi, I'm Brett Williams. And I'm Macy Brosimley. And, and DP, DP News, News starts, starts now. now. Our team had the opportunity to meet up with Jason Paris, Teen Star finalist and 2012 Battle of the Band winner, who has already faced an array of challenges throughout his music career. DP News reporter Heather Cano has more. I got interested in music because one night I went to the Frey concert at the Santa Barbara Bowl and I just got to witness how important music was to people and how much it impacted their lives. And that really changed me and made me want to do that with my life as well. Not only is writing a tool for me to get my emotions out, but it's also a way for me to show other people how I see the world and how I see things. Through Teen Star, I won a opening spot at a show this weekend and I get to open for the top five songwriters in the world. Driving a hundred miles per hour, but her car is still stuck in gear one. Like Jason, Nathaniel Newman was a 2014 Teen Star finalist. However, the path he took to get there was a little bit different. What attracted me to Teen Star was the fact that it gave me a chance to kind of put myself out there as opposed to just performing in jazz choir it kind of gave me an opportunity to be on my own. I see myself doing something with music production or just in the business industry itself and that's what I'm looking forward to in college. Will you only need the light when it's burning low? Only miss the sun when it starts to snow? Only know you love her when you let her go? On a different note, Luana Pissarros worked her way to the Teen Star stage thanks to her years of musical theater experience. I guess in in elementary school, uh, I did all like the plays that every class did, and I guess everyone did them, and so I sort of thought that was like a thing that everyone liked. And then when I got to junior high, I just signed up for the class because I knew I liked singing and there was also theater involved. And so then I started doing some shows, and then I realized that that's like, you know, I really actually love it, and so then I kept doing it. I definitely hope uh, to pursue singing and theater, but you know, it is really hard because a lot of people want it and um, it's a lot of competition, but that's definitely what I want. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got it, you, baby. Some people want diamond ring, some just want everything, but that means nothing if I ain't got For DP News, you. I'm Heather Cano, signing off. Zizo's Coffee Shop is prosperous in Goleta. Team members Alex Mackey and Carmina Cebu spoke to employees Lauren and Casey about the local business's triumphs. A local coffee shop known by the name Zizo's has been serving Goleta for over five years, but it's their staff and menu that keep people coming back. Hey, I'm Lauren and I am a barista still in training, I'm kind of new. And I make food sometimes. Uh, my name is Casey and I'm also a barista and I've been here for a little longer than she has. I think it really fits in with the casual Southern California server atmosphere. I think the customers feel more like, like they know us here and stuff and uh, we get to know them. Our drinks are really good, our menu is like way more expansive than like your average coffee shop. Um, we're really good customer service, like I said we get to know the people that come in. Um, it's a really good atmosphere. It gives the community more a sense of identity. They're unique compared to everyone else. They're nice people, nice food. And I like frequenting and, and supporting local business. I think that's really important. 
And this is a, it's a warm, inviting place to be. So make sure to check out Zizos, only in Goleta, California. This has been Alex Mackey from DP News. Success isn't always perfection and getting it right the first time. It's composed of turmoil and hardships as seen by these Santa Barbara people. For DP News, I'm Brett Williams. And I'm Macy Brosomley. Until next time, Dos Pueblos. Before we go, a very huge happy birthday shout out to DP News' very own Carly Mangus. Happy 17th birthday.